for the farewell Charlie whip around. And first up, it is comedy veteran Steve Vizard. Steve, what do you want to say to Charlie in his final night? Well, Carrie, Charlie, it's a big day for you, obviously, and Channel 10, I can honestly say, have spent no expense on this. They've literally run extension cords out of the building into the uh, into the car park situation. But be that as it may, Charlie, you know when you came to everyone a few months ago and said, will I leave the security of the project and take a punt into the unknown? And everyone said, go for it, mate. Nobody expected you to take their advice seriously. I mean, nobody. I mean, what were you thinking? But, mate, the, uh, the decision is, mate, I just want to say it's been a pleasure working with you. You're a really good bloke. Uh, you're a great TV talent. And you've been in people's living rooms for a long time. And I think you've changed, in a way, a generation. It's great to count you as a friend. Uh, and I look forward to the next episode of the Charlie Pickering story, whether it be uh, a home shopping network or KFC ads. And uh, that 100 bucks is still on the table if you kiss Steve Price goodbye tonight. <laughs> No. All right, Kitty, up next, what have you got to say to Charlie Kitty? Chuck, <laughs> what an absolute pleasure. Now, you and I have shared one thing over all these years, and that is a love of humiliating dogs in stupid costumes. So here to say goodbye is my very own dog in a tux. Penny, wave. Wave. Oh, sad. <laughs> say goodbye to Charlie. <laughs> Dog in a tux just for you. Oh. I'm sorry we couldn't do the piano. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kitty. Thank you. Thanks, Kitty. And your good mate Sam Mack has called in from Sydney. G'day, Sam. Hey, guys. Charlie, I can't believe it's over. So many Charlie memories. You've done over a thousand shows. I've seen every minute of every single one of those shows. That's why I'm qualified to share the top three Charlie memories right now. At number three, oh, the time you wore a suit. <laughs> so good. At number two, oh yeah, we'll all remember this one. The time you said, and this is such a Charlie thing to say, you said, we'll be back after the break. <laughs> Classic Charlie. And number one, what about this number one Charlie memory? The time I listed the top three Charlie memories and number one was such an anti-climax that it just cut to a really disappointed look on your face. Do you remember that, Charlie? Oh, we have a laugh, don't we? Look, I just want to go out with a song, guys. This is my song for Charlie. That's the song, Charlie. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> they only organised this at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I didn't have time to write any lyrics, but that chord progression was just for you, my friend. Just for you. Goodbye. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. And a farewell to Charlie with Ram wouldn't be complete without a chat to our very own Dave Hughes. Hey, Hughesy. Hey, Carrie, and hey, Charlie, mate. At the Comedy Festival at the moment, so I can't be there, but great shows on book tickets, Dave Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> But, mate, um, I, I respect you so much, I've now got your hair cut. And uh, <laughs> I was there since day one, along with Carrie. And, mate, I know how much you've put in these five years. All, all jokes aside, mate, you are the heart and soul, along with Carrie, of this show. You've cared for every second on air, mate. You know what? If I could give you an awkward Husey hug right now, I would. And you know what? I'm gonna! <laughs> So, um, so you're performing at the comedy theatre. Um, <laughs> that's good. Mate, can I just say, this, this job has been a, a pretty extraordinary ride and, and to share so much of it with you over the years has just been wonderful. So thank you so much for being an amazing bloke to work with. Alright, Kim Hall, goodbye. It's coming up after the break. We'll be back. <laughs>